Good morning, Facebook friends and family. If you're wondering what you're listening to, you are listening to Mountain Spirit Speaks. Yes, we are on the radio now. We're on globally, and we are the only radio show that really cares about your natural health and the healing powers inherent in nature. I really trust that you're taking this information from my heart to yours because it's, it's how I'm delivering it. And that if you know anyone who is struggling with an illness or has pretty much uh, run up against the wall with um, natural remedies for whatever it is that they are trying to overcome or win over, give them a call, send them a text, hail them, um, just give them a little indication that they can tune in to this show. Join our group, Mountain Spirit Speaks. And by the way, don't forget to click like. I wanted to thank all of you who actually liked the video. I know all of you liked it. There were um, 1,500 uh, people who viewed the video, but we only had 100 like, so I'm not really sure what that means. So let me know, please, if you watch it and you like it. Tell your friends, uh, tell your family. And we're going to be on here every uh, weekday, Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So you can hear the show in the morning as well as in the evening. So breakfast and dinner, we're doing it and we're doing it together. So the last conversation we had was about the neem. And I just kind of wanted to wrap that up a little bit. There's a lot of information on the neem on the neem tree, the neem plant, and all of its derivatives. There's a lot of information out there. But it all may not pertain to you. So I'm not going to dump all of it through this, this, this little pipeline uh, of a radio show. I'm going to try and give you the nuggets that I think you're interested in. In fact, a lot of the comments that we got from the, the last video had to do with its antibacterial properties and also the birth control. We covered, oh, and, and the hair care. We covered um, what the neem can do with other um, ailments. We've also spoken before about uh, the neem and diabetes. So uh, we know for sure that the medicinal properties of neem are so powerful and so effective uh, in balancing blood sugar that in India they're actually included in a medication, and it's a government-approved uh, diabetic medication. It just has not made it to this side yet. However, you live in an environment where you can actually grow a neem tree. You can buy the fresh uh, neem leaf powder. You want all of these things to be fresh, and you want them to be processed properly. So uh, we have all these attributes about this beautiful plant. We talked about the dental care. Now, I want to just uh, share with you what I know about how it's used for birth control. And it's been used for birth control for thousands of years. This is not a new thing. What happens is that uh, the neem... Uh, once it's, it's put into the body, within a lunar cycle, within the span of 30 days, or really 28 days, you can take the neem, and you're talking about like a quarter teaspoon of powder a day. And what that will do is it will inhibit the production of um, the reproductive cells. And it just, it just lets them rest. It doesn't destroy them, it just lets them rest. So they don't, they don't form as quickly. Now, one of the things you really don't know is that midwives and, and fertility um, healers from days of old, from the ancient times, have used neem to harness reproductive energy for that very reason. Oh, they didn't know the scientific breakdowns and maybe they didn't know the molecular structure of this and that, but they knew that if you took neem in this minute quantity, it's not the kind of herb that more is better. Neem is, is, is psychic. It's brilliant. And it works with your spirit. So you only really need a tiny bit. So one quarter teaspoon of neem leaf powder, or just five leaves, five powdered leaves a day, that's enough to send that signal to your reproductive system to rest. So how do we use it in fertility? We use it to harness the energy of your reproductive system. So when you haven't been ovulating or the eggs have not been um, uh, sticking, as we say, the, the